Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. I just received a very interesting email that's come through today from a viewer who is looking to get an important question answered from me. And the reason why I want to answer it publicly, because I don't always usually do that, is because I feel this particular question has a lot of relevance to what we're talking about at this present time. He's basically going to ask me, is Taoist weather magic black magic? So let's get into the email itself. Hello, Lord Josh. I have been watching your vids on Taoist weather magic. I want to put the information to the test, but I have some concerns. Is playing with the weather an act of black magic? Wouldn't it be considered going against nature when you interfere with rain and wind? I still want to try it, but I haven't heard anyone give a straight answer as to what type of magic this is. It seems, for the most part, fairly benevolent, but I want to be sure as I don't want my karma to be bad. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the email and the question. I always appreciate hearing back from people who watch the videos. And it's a totally reasonable question. And I can understand why you may think that Taoist weather magic is black magic. But truthfully, it isn't black or white. It isn't good or evil. It's gray and neutral. Let's put it like this. If you give a knife to a murderer, chances are he will commit a crime with it. Hand the knife over to a chef, and he will prepare you a meal with it. Regardless of how the knife is used, the knife itself never becomes right or wrong. The knife is simply a neutral tool which can be used either way. So, it isn't the knife we should be focusing on. It's the person who is using it. Just like in weather magic, it isn't the magic we should be focusing on, but the magician and his or her intent. It's the person behind the spell who is the driving force. Since it is grey, Taoist weather magic has the potential to go both ways. You see, you can use it for the purposes of good. Let's just say, for example, if you were to end drought in a country where the population is starving because no food can be grown. This would, of course, be an act of selflessness, right? Whereas another equally valid use, but perhaps it would lead more to the side of destruction, you could create a weather spell to summon a thunderstorm to strike down your rivals and destroy them. So you can use weather magic to help people or to harm them. It simply is up to you. Now a lot of people misunderstand the words weather magic. This is really an umbrella term for any kind of spiritual practice involving the weather and the environment. It doesn't just mean calling and summoning storms and winds. You can use the weather for divination. You can use certain weather types to nourish your vital organs. You can even use it to blow away emotions and bad luck. It all depends on the practitioner and what he intends to do with it. The bottom line is you are the one who can control how it is used. If you are a baneful practitioner and you want to summon a demonic whirlwind to harm someone intentionally, then providing you know how to do this correctly, then you can go ahead and do it. But of course, you must be aware of the laws and the rules. Every action has a reaction. If you knowingly harm someone else, then you will pay a price. If you use the Taoist system of magic to harm other people, then eventually you will be punished by the Lord of Thunder, Lei Gong. You also mention interfering with nature. Humans have been interfering with the planet since the very dawn of time, and it's only gotten more magnified in the modern day. Pollution, technology, cars, air travel, manufacturing of plastics, you name it. Is this not altering our planet's ecosystems? Of course it is, but it's doing it in a negative way. You can use Taoist weather magic to combat these changes, therefore restoring the Earth back to a healthy balance. Could you imagine if we simply sit back and let the planet's oceans dry up, then basically we are to blame. This is the time when we absolutely need to interfere. Interference isn't always negative. If you have cancer and you need surgery to remove it before it spreads, 
This is obviously an interference, but a welcome one. At the moment, I'm personally working on ways to make my magic work overseas in different countries, so that I can potentially help in places where it is difficult to grow food. I'm also trying to work on my methods of calming down ferocious storms in aid of helping nations in the future. The list of ways that a weather magician can help is endless. Never has there been such a great time to practice the art. Now, I'm not for a second suggesting that everybody out there should do it because that would be chaos. It's out there only for certain people who can resonate with it. And believe me, that's not a lot. Just to give you some perspective, I've been a Taoist weather magician now since 2007, and I've never hurt anyone, intentionally or accidentally, and I don't want to. But if I need to defend myself, and I need to defend my land from an attack, then it's wise that I know how to do so. I hope it never comes to that, but as the old saying goes, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. The great thing about this system of magic is the freedom and choice it gives to the practitioner. It allows him or her to basically project their own moral codes onto the spells that they cast. Now, this does not mean that you won't have to face the consequences of your actions. You are always responsible for what you do, but it allows you to figure things out. Trial and error. The path is not straight or black and white. It's the S-like shape within the Taiji. Sometimes it is lighter, and other times it's darker depending on where you turn. But you can always count on the twists and turns of the Tao. As long as you are comfortable within your own skin, and you have a solid sense of morality, you won't face the force of karma. Why do you think I haven't made any videos on summoning storms to hurt people? I don't want to put that information out there because I know for a fact that people will abuse it. I don't advocate the destruction of others using magic. I believe that we are all connected to the grid of reality. Each of us rests on the framework of that grid because we are the glue that holds it all together. So if I hurt you, in a way I'm harming myself because we all support each other. If anything, I'm probably a little more right-hand path than left, but ultimately I try to settle within the middle path. It's the path for me that seems to generate the most potent and fulfilling magic. I don't like the tribalism of who is right, who is left, who is wrong. That kind of polarity isn't going to help our results. Nobody should ever play with the weather, as you say in this email. I constantly reaffirm to my viewers that you should only practice weather magic when you are ready. You should have your reasons as to why you are working with it as well. You don't just use weather magic in a nonchalant way. It doesn't work like that. There should always be some kind of goal in mind for you to focus your intent upon. I made a lot of mistakes as a younger occultist. I summoned storms that were far too powerful for me to control. I got lost in my own ego. I caused myself a great deal of problems, but I never attempted, not even once, to do a baneful working. Not because I thought it wouldn't work. I knew it would work if I did it properly. I simply knew that it would come back and hurt me in the long run. You need to use foresight and wisdom when working with high magic. Now, I will tell you, there is a certain stigma attached to weather magic I join a lot of forums these days, and I try to interact with a lot of different magicians. And I joined one group and started a topic on Taoist weather magic, and the first comment I had was, only God controls the weather. Okay, so you're telling me that you can practice necromancy, summon the spirits of the dead. You can call down age-old demons and form packs with them. You practice hexes and curses and literally destroy a person spiritually, you can even have sexual relations with a demon, but somehow weather magic is off limits. Bullshit. You think God would allow all of that and only draw the line at weather magic. Pure nonsense. This is just an example of what I have encountered with ignorant people. Most of these are magicians, by the way. They should know better because the majority of magicians change reality by using energy. 
So is the weather not a massive part of reality? Is it not a part of nature, made up of energy? Of course it is. The reason why people say such things, it's not because weather magic is black magic. It's nothing to do with it. It's because it's very obscure and mysterious. Therefore, people will attempt to figure it out by filling in the blanks with their own opinionated ideas. Of course, they have no clue what it involves. I'm happy for people to ask questions about it, but I can assure you it is the most neutral of the arcane arts. Once it gets into the hands of the magician, it can go any way he or she desires. So I hope this answers your question, and I also hope that it clears up some of the misconceptions surrounding this practice, because believe me, there are so many people who have got the wrong idea about it. Please join my Facebook group, Taoist Magic. Feel free to interact with me over there, as well as many other people. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care. I'll be back soon.